We're talking about men's health and also prostate health, which is something many men don't know much about. But if a man lives long enough, he will have to know a bit about the prostate. It can get enlarged, which is a condition called uh, typically benign prostatic enlargement. In medical lingo, we say benign prostatic hyperplasia or BPH. Prostate cancer is also something that's quite common. One in six men uh, develop prostate cancer. And there are other entities that, it can, that can impact the prostate as well, but those are the most common ones. BPH, uh, benign prostatic hyperplasia, which is simple enlargement of the prostate without cancer, that happens naturally as a man gets older. If a man has symptoms related to that, then they can be addressed. But if, if there's no, there are no symptoms, then that person can just leave that alone. On the other side, if uh, the prostate is affected uh, by cancer, which is quite common, then there are certain steps that a man can take to prevent or to ultimately diagnose the problem early. Uh, the earlier diagnosis is made, the more options are available. Ultimately, a higher cure rate. Uh, one thing that has been shown to help save lives from prostate cancer is PSA screening. If you have a family history, you are much more likely to get prostate cancer than men who does not. African Americans have a higher rate of prostate cancer as a whole. So if you're in a high-risk group, uh, you should get started with a PSA screening uh, at the age of, of 45. That's Starting at the age of 50 is what's recommended uh, as part of health maintenance or health screening examination. If you screen a man, a young man diagnose, and you diagnose him with prostate cancer, what are some options that you have available, some options that will not impair his life to a, to a great extent? We've made great stride in the treatments for prostate cancer, whether it's through the radiation techniques that we use, the surgical techniques. Uh, that the latter one is a particular area we've made great advancement. Locally, we've been at the forefront of uh, prostate cancer surgery, uh, robotic surgery for prostate cancer, or robotic prostatectomy. We have developed that to the point where it's now become standard of care at many uh, hospitals around the country. The entire experience for patients is a lot easier, in my opinion, than it used to be. So when a man gets treatment for prostate cancer, uh, one major concern is often the urinary function, also the sexual function. The risk still remain, but the risk have decreased drastically, and we keep improving the technique to lessen the continence problems that men face. And also the nerves travel directly behind the prostate to enter the penis. They come from the spinal cord, travel behind the prostate and enter right into the penis to uh, help a man get an erection. So our techniques are also aimed at improving uh, a man's chance of maintaining an erection. Nerve sparing techniques have been developed which lessen uh, the chance of a man's having uh, erectile dysfunction, the risk still remains, but we keep improving the techniques to ultimately eliminate the fears that men have when it comes to having uh, prostate uh, treatment of some sort.